असली घटना है कि जिन्होंने पिछले दिनों चुनाव का नतीजा दिया और मैं राष्ट्रपति जी का बहुत आभारी हूँ उन्होंने टेलीफोन करके मुझे बधाई दी थी आज फिर एक बार उन्होंने बधाई दी है भारत और अमेरिका दोनों लोकतांत्रिक मूल्यों को लेकर के चलने वाले देश दुनिया की भलाई के लिए साथ मिलकर के क्या काम कर सकते हैं किस प्रकार से योगदान दे सकते हैं हमारे कॉमन वैल्यूज मानव जात के लिए दुनिया के लिए प्रगति के लिए किस प्रकार से काम आ सकते हैं ऐसे अनेक विषयों पर बहुत गहराई से बात होती रहती है भारत का और अमेरिका का आर्थिक क्षेत्र में व्यापार के क्षेत्र में लगातार बातचीत हो रही है और कई विषयों में हम अमेरिका के सुझावों को का स्वागत करते हैं और मिलजुल करके ट्रेड के क्षेत्र में आगे बढ़ने की दिशा में हम प्रयास कर रहे हैं भारतीय समुदाय अमेरिका में भारी मात्रा में इन्वेस्टमेंट भी कर रहा है भारतीय समुदाय अमेरिका में जिस प्रकार से विकास यात्रा में भागीदार बना है अमेरिका ने जिस प्रकार से भारतीय समुदाय को आदर सत्कार और सम्मान दिया है इसके लिए मैं राष्ट्रपति ट्रंप का उनके शासन का प्रशासन का वहाँ की जनता का हृदय से बहुत बहुत आभार व्यक्त करता हूँ थैंक यू पाकिस्तान के प्रधानमंत्री के चुनाव के बाद जब मैंने उनको टेलीफोन किया था तब मैंने उनसे कहा है कि पाकिस्तान को भी गरीबी के खिलाफ लड़ना है भारत को भी गरीबी के खिलाफ लड़ना है पाकिस्तान को भी अशिक्षा के खिलाफ लड़ना है भारत को भी अशिक्षा के खिलाफ लड़ना है पाकिस्तान को भी बीमारी के खिलाफ लड़ना है भारत को भी बीमारी के खिलाफ लड़ना है हम दोनों देश मिलकर के गरीबी के खिलाफ लड़ें हमारी असुविधाओं के खिलाफ लड़ें और हम मिलकर के दोनों देश की आवाम की भलाई के लिए काम करें ये संदेश मैंने पाकिस्तान के प्रधानमंत्री जी को भी दिया है और राष्ट्रपति ट्रंप से भी हमेशा हमारे इस बायोलेटर संबंधों के संबंध में बात होती रहती है Uh, between uh, india and pakistan uh, there are many uh, bilateral uh, issues and after uh, uh, mr president imran khan became the prime minister of pakistan i uh, called him up to congratulate him and i told him that uh, pakistan needs to fight poverty india too pakistan needs to fight illiteracy india too pakistan needs to fight disease india too and so together let us join our forces uh, to fight poverty and all the ills that are facing our two countries that has worked together to for the welfare of the people of our two countries and uh, uh, this is uh, uh, the message that uh, i uh, keep giving my counterpart in pakistan along with uh, president trump we also uh, keep talking about the different bilateral issues between us mr modi would you like to have president trump be involved in negotiating between pakistan and india bharat aur pakistan ये सारे इश्यूज बायोलेटरल हैं और इसलिए हम दुनिया के किसी भी देश को इनके लिए कष्ट नहीं देते हैं और मुझे विश्वास है कि भारत और पाकिस्तान जो 1947 के पहले एक ही थे हम मिलजुल कर के हमारी समस्याओं पर चर्चा भी कर सकते हैं और समाधान भी कर सकते हैं इंडिया एंड पाकिस्तान आर वेरी and uh, we do not want to give pain to any country in the world uh, to uh, in fact uh, uh, try to do anything in this because these issues are bilateral and i trust that uh, before 1947 when we were one country that even afterwards we can find solutions through discussions mr president is that all the same uh i'm here i have a very good relationship with both gentlemen and i'm here If for any reason, but I think they can do it themselves. They've been doing it for a long time. Mr. President, the Chinese have said today publicly that uh, it's more low-level calls that have happened, and they're downplaying the significance of the calls to the U.S. administration. I don't, I don't know what you mean by that. Low-level? Uh, the vice premier is low-level. I don't think so. What's in your mind? Low-level? 
Okay. And what is the position of the gentleman that was quoted in the newspaper today? Right. Well, the Vice Premier, as Leo Ho, came out with a very significant statement, and we've been communicating uh, through intermediaries back and forth with him. Right. the Vice Premier of China. Yes, sir, I understand. That's at low level. I understand, I agree. Uh, I was just, uh, there was a statement that the, the spokesman for foreign ministry, for instance, said they weren't aware of the calls happening. I don't know about a story. There's been communication about that. At, at the Thank highest you, level. At the highest level. Can you clarify the calls? No, I don't want to go into it. We don't want to go into it. Hey, look, in the meantime, our country is doing great. So we're doing great. And the uh, Prime Minister just congratulated me. Everybody that's met has congratulated us on the job we're doing in the United States with our economy. Our economy is phenomenal. Best it's ever been. And that's despite the trade deals. And when the trade deals get done, like we did with Japan yesterday, we did a really big tremendous trade deal with Japan, and we have others coming. We're negotiating now in earnest with the European Union, uh, because they want to do that. They want to do that, and I do too. So we have, when we get these deals done, this our country will be transformed. I mean, it'll be monetarily transformed. It's such a difference between the horrible, horrible one-sided oh. deals that we had in the past. And frankly, past administrations should be ashamed of themselves for allowing that. But we have many of them. One of them is the USMCA, Mexico, Canada. And hopefully that'll get uh, voted on very quickly. Everybody wants it to happen, so hopefully we can make that a bipartisan bill. But we have many trade deals that are doing very well, and including China. And I think it was necessary to go through this, uh, you would say, a rough patch, but I'd say maybe much more than a rough patch. But that's okay, because we've been paid billions and billions of dollars. And you know that prices haven't gone up, and there's been no inflation. And we've put a lot of money in the Treasury, and uh, you know, tens of billions of dollars. And I've given a lot of it to the farmers that were hurt. I've been able to give a lot of money, compliments of China to the farmers that were hurt because they were we gave them 16 billion and we gave them 12 billion the year before that made them whole that was the amount of money that china didn't invest in our to our farmers give to our farmers so the farmers have been amazing but they're very happy with the job we're doing but eventually they're going to be the biggest or one of the biggest beneficiaries okay Mr. President, did you, did you, did you attend the climate session Say it. Did you uh, make it to the climate session? Were there any conclusions that you should I'm going to. In fact, it's going to be our next session. So yeah, we haven't had it. Do you have a message that you'd like to deliver to? No, I want clean air and clean water. And we're right now having the cleanest air and cleanest water on the planet. But that's what I want. I want absolutely clean air and clean water. Mr. President, just briefly back on China. We saw the comments from you about wanting calm. Um, calm. Calm, exactly. Just wondering if you can clarify what you meant about the call. Was that with light I, I don't want to talk about reason? calls. We've had calls. We've had calls at the highest levels. But last I don't want to night, talk about, about that. Tonight, but but the call. vice chairman put out a statement last night that was a statement and saying that he wants to make a deal and he wants calm. And I think it's a very good word to use, calm. It's not a word that I use that often. But it's a good word to use. And I think it's one of the reasons that's a great country. I mean, they understand. I think that that message also helps with respect to Hong Kong. I really do. I think it makes it easier for Hong Kong to do something. And I think that President Xi will do something with Hong Kong. I really think that message is a good message with respect to what the ultimate outcome is in Hong Kong. Very, very positive message. And uh, we appreciated it. We appreciated it. What else? Anything else? Mr. Tr uh, Mr. President, what are your uh, your latest thoughts on your threat on pulling out of the WTO? And if you do, can I also ask Mr. President Modi what your response to that in, in, in terms of how it affect India's trade strategy? Well, we haven't been happy with the WTO, but now we're winning cases. We won the big Airbus case, as you know. Uh, it's a tremendous case. I mean, it's uh, billions of dollars. That was a very recent victory, and we're winning cases now. We're being treated more fairly now in the WTO, which we appreciate. मुझे लगता है कि हम दोनों को बात करेंगे, हम दोनों बात करते रहेंगे, जब जरूरत पड़ेगी आप लोगों को जरूर जानकारी पहुंचाएंगे। 
He actually speaks very good English. We just don't want to talk. About it. <laughs> 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 Uh, let us uh, discuss these things and when we feel the need, we will communicate to you. <laughs>